What happened to your glasses? Oh, shitty ones that were all broke. She lost them. How'd you lose them? Oh, they just disappeared this morning. What? Yeah. No. Somebody liked them. Maybe that's what they stole out of the car. <laughs> they weren't in here, no. Okay, what were you saying, Mitchell? I was saying that there, the chain of events that's happened since we pulled into Pennsylvania and yesterday. And we've only been here since yesterday. The rain. This town. I went out, I heard all this ruckus. It and was... I opened the door and there was literally, I'm not exaggerating, a waterfall of rain pouring down outside. It, it was... was really hard. I mean a waterfall. Good it thing looked we like a curtain camping. of rain. It was... So that was bizarre. And I kept opening the door because I was so shocked. And I'd been all over the world. In the, in the Pacific, in the tropics, South America, Central America, Southeast Asia where there's monsoons. The Philippines, she knows about monsoon weather. I know, you were scared. We should have recorded that. That coming you made. You were like, like, this is insane this, outside. I, I thought it was like, it looked like, like the end of the world where Noah was going to come up and say, hey, dude, start building because we're <laughs> we're gonna get your animals because we're going it's flooding tonight it's it crazy. was that crazy then the scratch marks on my back it was like what is that i'm like what the hell was there was a wolverine walking around with like a scratch mark on his back i didn't after... even know until i looked in the mirror then i freaked out I'm like, after he this? got out of the shower he was like oh i you know scrubbed my body really well and like and there's these claw and then marks he sees he looks back. on his back Walmart. Yeah. And, I, and the thing is, that was weird. What's because I read about the paranormal. When people have those poltergeist style like, claw someone's marks, haunting you don't you. feel them. They just appear. That was freaky. They are red and they look like they were like raised blood, but I did not ever feel anything. Did you see them? Yeah. They're still there. Ugh. It's Crazy. freaking me out. It doesn't even hurt. Then we go to the chain of events. We're at the Vietnamese restaurant. Where it's like, welcome to the bizarro I'm world. Telling you, they were ghosts. And then we <laughs> ended up, you know, yeah, going to this restaurant. I've got a bite mark in the egg roll. Uncle Ben's rice. And they no said fortune in the fortune no fortune, 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 fortune. And they said that chow mein like at this restaurant had no noodles. Does not include noodles. It was just onions. It was onions and eggs. What the f is chow mein? Onions and Have eggs. You ever I've in any never, tradition had ever heard of this. And no fortune in the cookie. Bite mark in the egg roll. What else? Plastic in my my Uncle Ben's rice. Well, obviously the plastic was the corner of where they tore it off on Uncle Ben's box. <laughs> Seriously, that's what it was. Yeah, it was. It's so really it's scary. really freaking me out. Yeah, it's urgent to get out of here. So we're leaving. We're going down the highway right now, and hopefully everything's copacetic. Dodge. And everything's gonna be all great. <sighs> New so day. We just, we just, we just got to get out of here. Oof! Out of Pennsylvania.